Welcome to Oracle FX tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to work with cascading lobe. First, let's see what is cascading lobe. We have created a pairs called ca cascading lobe. There are three items in this pairs. First one is category, second one is product. All products are listed here. Third one is product by category. It is filtering product according to category list. If I select PC under category, the category, product by category will show only PC. But product list is showing all items as like as before. If I select laptop under category, product item showing all items as before, but uh, product by category is showing only two items. Today I'll show you how to create this type of filtering by using cascading lobe. Let's go. To demonstrate cascading lobe, I'm going to create a page under inventory application. It will be a blank page. Name cascading lobe as page name. Create a menu item. Create a new region. Under the new region, create two items. First item is category. Change type to select list. Under list of value, select type SQL query. Create a query. Select category table. Select category name and category ID. Validate the query. It's perfect. Select OK. Now second item. Change its name to product. Change type to select list. List of value type SQL query. Create a query. Select products table. Select product name, product ID, product category. Product category is uh, related with uh, category table. So we need to filter this table with product category field. To do it, we need to put a condition in this query. Type equal to colon category item name. For this, P8 underscore category. We need to edit this query a little bit because uh, select item only support uh, two fields. Product category is not required here. So I am deleting it from the query. Under cascading lobe parent items, I have to select the parent items. For this, it will be category. That's all. Save the project and run it to see how it perform. I'm selecting PC from the category list and it filters all PC. If I change it to laptop, then product only showing laptop items. That's all for today. I think you have understand how cascading lobe works. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, please comment below.